So I wanted to quickly go over the Google Keyword Tool. If you want to get on page one Google, the most important thing is your keywords. And you want to take those keywords and create as many as you possibly can. But after you create as many as you possibly can, you want to make sure that you're going after the right keywords. So go to Google, type in Google Keyword Tool, click on the first link, and you'll come up to this web page. In this web page, what you do is you type in the keywords you're going after. Let's just say you wanted to go after the term roses, florists, flowers, or maybe local, New York roses, New York florists, New York flowers. Now, one thing I wanted to let you know about um, keywords, when you're doing local, the term New York, NY, New York City, Manhattan, in Google's world, they're pretty much the same thing. They've linked a lot of that stuff together. So if you live in Minnesota, California, abbreviations and different ways of to say a state or a city, Google kind of has figured a lot of that out. Now you click search, and what this is going to do is going to give you the amount of searches for these keywords. So you take roses, wow, you have 16 million people searching for roses globally, and then locally it's 2.7 million. So global keyword is basically the entire world, and local in this case is the United States. So roses, you can see the difference in the numbers here. Then you have florist, flowers, and then you break it down to local for New York, and uh, roses, flowers, and flowers. So you can see, obviously, uh, for local search, it's always going to be less. Now, a couple things I just want to go over was definitely type in or write down how many keywords you want to rank for, as many as you possibly can. Put them all in here, and then start seeing what the competition level is. Now, realistically, this keyword is really uh, for Google AdWords, but it works very well for organic search. So you have your low competition, your high competition, your medium competition, sometimes you may think like you may not want to always go after the highest competition because you just don't want to compete with the big guys and it's just not worth your time because it's going to take too long to really compete with them. Maybe you go after something that's a little easier so at least you'll get some traffic to your website so you can make some money or whatever you're trying to do online. Now the reason why I kind of just threw in roses, flowers, and florists is because some people may think, oh wow, roses is a great search term because I sell them. But when someone types in roses, it may not be for purchase intent. They may be looking for information on roses. So you got to make sure that the keywords you're going for are keywords that people are searching for because they want to buy a product if that's what you're doing. If you have a website informational on roses or flowers, okay, that makes sense. So you really don't want, so if you have an informational site, you really don't want to go after floors or flowers because those are people that probably want to buy something. So these are just a couple different ways to go about it. You have your local, you have your, uh, your nationwide searches. So this is, again, just a quick basics on using a tool that can help you out. All right, have a good day.